Hi, this is Sweet June. How's everybody doing today? Coming back at you with another video. This is on the heels of, uh, this is, uh, um, I was talking about, if you haven't had a chance to look at that video, um, warning to Strong Mommy Chrissy Live and uh, Jazz Warning, that's, that's the title. If you hadn't had a chance to get over there and check that out, get over there and check that video out. Well, I'm basically talking about um, they needed to make whoever they get involved with, they need to make them sign a confidentiality agreement and stuff like that. I want to expand further on that. I want to expand further. This is on the heels of that video. I want to expand further on confidentiality. I want to talk about the importance of it. Um, I was telling them that you know, because they jump into relationships kind of fast. They're here on YouTube. They're really growing really big. You know, they're growing really well on fast and they're growing they're growing here on YouTube. Um Strong Mommy Chrissy has a hundred and thirty thousand subscribers. And you know, you're here on YouTube. I was making the point that you we're here on YouTube, you know, you're 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 public figures, so um, you need to protect yourself. Um, anybody that you get involved with, um, you want to make sure that your private information is going to be protected. If this, for some reason you're not dealing with this person anymore, um, you don't want this person to go on social media or any social media platform and tell your private information. And so that that's something that I can learn that I can think that's something that I have to think about. Um, uh, that's something that everybody on YouTube needs to think about. But confidentiality um, is very important in all areas of our life, not just social media. Um, I know that there has been people that have put things on social media um put information out on social media information whatever and they got in trouble for putting information out there so we have to be really careful of the information that we put out on social media um um some things are private i mean a lot of things are private um your finances are private. Um, certain financial information is private. So that's not something that you want to really divulge a whole lot of here on YouTube or on any plug or any social media or whatever. You got to be careful. Even word of mouth, you have to be careful what you're saying about your finances. That's a very private thing. Um, health, health issues are very private. Um, now you, you can talk about your health, your health issues or what, um, because you, you can tell people what's going on with you health wise, but do you know that there is an actual law called HIPAA that you cannot divulge someone else's health information? If you, I know, was it Tasha K? I don't want to, you know, um, somebody was being sued. A YouTuber was being sued by Cardi B because she was trying to put medical information. Part of, she was saying a lot of stuff that wasn't true, but then she was trying to put Cardi B's medical information out on YouTube. That's a no-no. You cannot divulge, there's a law called HIPAA, and you cannot divulge. Now, you can talk about your health, or you don't, you know, if you don't want to reveal certain things about your health, then that, yeah. But you, you have the right, you have the right to talk about, I have the right to come on here and tell you what's going on with my own health, if I choose to do so. That's my choice. 
It's my body. Well, God's body, but you know, you know what I mean. But what I don't have the right to do is I don't have the right to come on here and discuss other people's health matters without their consent. If I don't have their consent to discuss health matters, it's a law, it's called HIPAA. And I know um, my, my last job that I was on, I think we had to actually sign something. They had us sign a confidential. It, it, I believe it was a confidentiality agreement. They had us sign a form saying that we would not tell any residents health information and we are not to divulge. Um, when I worked in home care, when I worked for the home care agencies, they made it very clear. And they made it very clear. They said we could go to jail. If we was, if we, we talked about any of the clients that we were dealing with, and if we divulged any of their health information to anybody, like if it got out, if we talked about their situation, even even if it wasn't health related, even if it was their just their situation. Period. You can't discuss their situation. Period. You can't. You can't. You can't say, well, so and so, I'm so and so is my client, and such and such and such and such. See, you, we're not even, we wasn't even permitted to, we wasn't even permitted to um, name the client. We couldn't name the client. We couldn't give any, the client's name. Like, we couldn't, like, if we're talking, like, there were, there were people that got in trouble because they were talking to somebody, they were overheard, or they found out, somebody from in the company found out that they were talking about a, a, a client, they were talking about a Pacific client. You know, just saying, oh, so-and-so is my client and this and that and this and that and this and that and the other. See, even if it's not health information, we're not supposed to, we weren't supposed to divulge any information. We're not even supposed to tell anybody. Like, I couldn't come home and discuss my clients with my sons. Yeah, that HIPAA law is, is yeah. And because they say you could go to jail. They say you can go to jail because you're divulging people's private information. If you a home care aide and you go into someone's home, that's between you, the company, and that client. That client don't want you going out here telling their business or talking about what goes on in their home. If we go to a client, if you, we go to a client's house, and there's something going on in their home, we're, we are not to go talk about it. We can't go to somebody else and say, well, so-and-so, uh, well, my client so-and-so, they was doing such and such and then this and that and, and, you, and talking about things that's going on in their home. That's a no-no. Not even supposed to name the client. We can't even give names. Because they say, you do that, you can go to jail. And you have to pay a fine and all that. They, every meeting we had, they made that very clear. On my last job that I just that I, that I had, that I just left, I think they made us sign a paper. I think we had to sign an agreement to say that um, we could not uh, divulge any information about any of the residents. We, can't, we couldn't say nothing about the residents. It's like I was telling you guys, I quit my job. Okay, I had to be very careful. And I did a video before that saying, um, was talking about, you know, making a decision. You know, I had to be very careful of what I what I said, you know. Um, I talked about my situation and what the reasons were of me leaving the job because I was doing too much heavy lifting. But I couldn't, I, I couldn't tell you, I'm not going to, I wasn't going to divulge any information about the resident. As far as um, whatever, because this that HIPAA law is strict. It's strict. So you can't you can't go to somebody and say, well, yeah, uh, so and so, um, one of my uh, residents or clients is such and such and such, 
and such and such and such and such. You can't do it. That is a HIPAA violation. And you can get in a lot of trouble for that. You can't name no names. You can't talk about their health condition or whatever the condition, whatever they're dealing with with their health. You can't talk about their meds that they're taking. You can't talk about none of that stuff. You can't divulge any of those things. All those things are private. Just like if you go to the hospital and you got a procedure done, whatever that procedure is, you wouldn't want the nurse to go off and go talk about she had this and that done and well she had to we had to do this and we see that's private. That's private information. It's a HIPAA violation. And so that's with confidentiality, that's the importance of confidentiality and the importance of things being confidential. Anybody's financial information. Even when I worked at the daycare, when I worked at the daycare, we, we couldn't take um, any pictures of the children and put them on social media. We couldn't, we couldn't um, take a picture with the children. Like there were people, when I worked at the daycare, there were people that got in trouble that filmed, filmed the children they would film the children and they would put it on social media or they would film film the child, make a statement about the child and put it on social media. See, you can't do that. And there were people that got in trouble for doing that. Not necessarily at my daycare, but other other daycares. I, I heard cases of other daycares. Well, they uh, it was another daycare here in town that they were taking pictures and putting them on putting it on social media. They were taking pictures of the children and putting it on social media. And, and you're taking a picture of a child and say, oh, this child is bad, which that's a no-no in, 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 in child care. That's a no-no. You can't say the child is bad. <laughs> or, you know, you there, there's a video was, a video that was circulating on Facebook that she filmed this little, little, little black girl. And the little black girl was sassy. I don't want to be here with these kids. And I was like, first of all, that's a no-no. They were supposed to. They wasn't supposed to film that child. You know, she's she's going back and forth with the child, and she's filming it. And the little girl, the little girl was the little girl was hilarious. She said, "I don't want to be here with these kids." <laughs> I mean, the little the little girl, little black girl, she was hilarious. But what that what that what the teacher didn't understand is was she wasn't supposed to film that child. She I said, "What is the teacher doing filming the filming this situation?" She filmed it and put it on social media. It was circulating on Facebook. And she was like, little bad little girl. First the time, first of all, she called the little girl bad, which that's that's a no no in, in child care. That's a no no. You can't call them bad. <laughs> you can think it, but you can't say it. So that was she 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 messed up right there when she called the little girl bad. And then uh, the little girl was just expressing herself. She was just expressing herself. She said she didn't want to be in there with all the rest of them kids. <laughs> I mean, she was just basically talking, telling how she felt. And the little girl, she was just so sassy. She was cracking me up. But the woman was, she was, she, she called the girl bad for one. And then she was filming it and she put it on social media. People put, put they, child care workers on social media doing certain things to children and they put it on social media see you're not supposed to do that you're not supposed to where they say when i worked in home care they said you can't take a picture of the client like you, you're taking a picture with the client or you take you can't be taking pictures at the client's house and my other my, my last job saying you you can't take they didn't want us taking no pictures in the residence room, or, or they didn't want us taking no pictures, on, period, on the premises, period. We, we couldn't, we, they didn't want us taking any pictures there, period. They didn't want us doing any of that. Because it, it breaches, it's, it's a confidentiality thing. But, you know, some people was doing it, but they, but they, they got in a lot of trouble if they found out. 
empathy. So confidentiality is very, very important. We have, we have, we all have private information that even us personally, we all have private information that we wouldn't want to be put on social media or we wouldn't want, like some of these YouTubers, they dig into the other YouTubers' court documents and all that stuff is confidential. It's private. I mean, you know, they they make it public, but it's not. It's it, it's it, at the same time, it's private. It's private information. It's your private information. I certainly wouldn't want somebody digging into my court information. It ain't none of nobody's business. Or what I got going on in in court, or whatever the situation is, it ain't none of nobody's business. So. Confidentiality is so important. It's, it's just so important. It's like if you got, if somebody come in your house and they visit your house, and then they go tell other people about what's going on in your household, or even how your house looks, that's, that's private. That's private information that they're putting out there in the street. It all goes under that umbrella of confidentiality. So that's what I was talking about with the three mommies. It's like, here on YouTube, anything that, and we like to think that they're very transparent, and they are, but they don't put everything on YouTube. Some things, it's, it's going to be private. And so they, they're having someone come into their home that they really haven't known that long. And they're here on YouTube. They're really considered a public figure. Then they need to make these people, whether it's male or female, sign a confidentiality agreement that says you can't go on social media and divulge this, that, and the other about me or my kids or my house or what's going on in my house, or my kids, or whatever the situation is. See? So confidentiality is very important. It's very important um, uh, in all areas. It's, it's very important um, on a job, on a lot of jobs. Uh, in, 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 in your in your life, other people's life, like it's, it would be good for you to come on here and talk about your family, your family's personal affairs, your family's private affairs or your family's financial affairs or private affairs or personal affairs. Whose business is that? Ain't nothing nobody's business. So that's, that's, I wanted to expand further on that when I was talking about Strong Mommy Christina. Yeah, that's very important. Um, you know, yeah, confidentiality is very important. Because you got people on here, you know, if they find out certain information about you, they put it on social media. Now, some celebrities have sued just like a male, um, um, Marco, she, uh, what's her name, Marilyn Marco? She, she sued um, a British tabloid over there in England because they, they, they put out there her her letter that she wrote to she wrote a letter to her father before she got married or something like that she wrote a letter to her father they got a hope somehow that letter got leaked they put it out there now she's suing them for that she said that's private it was a personal letter she wrote to her dad they somehow got a hold of it and i think he leaked it i think the dad leaked it for some money that's what i think i think daddy put it out there to make money they put it, but they weren't supposed to put it out there. They put it out there. They make, you know, and she sued them. She's suing them for that. She said, that's private. 
You're not supposed to be putting. This is my. This was my private letter from me to my dad. Ain't nobody supposed to know about this. What I said in this letter. Yeah. But people leak confidential. Sometimes people leak confidential information to make money. A lot of people here on YouTube leak leak confidential information. They take confidential information about other YouTubers and they make videos about it for money. And they could be for views and stuff. And they could actually be sued. I don't know why YouTube doesn't crack down on that like they should. If a person is talking about somebody's court documents or, you know, eviction court documents and things like that, then they're posting this stuff on YouTube. Why don't YouTube block the video, take the video off? See, YouTube doesn't do a good job of, YouTube doesn't do a good job of that. Because anytime someone makes a video about someone's court documents, private court, court I don't care if it, they do make it public. That doesn't mean you're supposed to take it and put it on social media. No. I think when people do that, leaking someone's court documents and stuff like that, leaking people's addresses, that stuff is confidential. That those videos should be taken down. YouTube doesn't do a good enough job of that because they should not be allowed to do that. You should not be allowed to leak someone's address on here or or here or any other social media platform, putting someone's address out there, putting someone's court documents out there, putting information, private information about their health on here. Whose business is that? But, they, but YouTube allows it. And it's because of the money. They're greedy. But it's, it's confidential information that should not be leaked to the public. We don't, we don't, we don't, we shouldn't know someone's eviction or, or, or house um, documents or, or documents about their house and stuff. That certain YouTubers on here be putting documents about other YouTubers' houses and, and, and court papers. And who, who, who business is that? That ain't none of our business. And it shouldn't be a source of entertainment. YouTube needs to start banning that kind of stuff. They don't want you putting no, but then as soon as you, you got an artist's music playing in the background and you doing a video and you got a certain artist's music playing in the back. Now they want to crack down on that. See, they want to crack down on that. Oh, copyright, copyright laws. Or you go into a store and the music's playing. Well, why? That ain't your fault that the, the music is playing in the store. And they, they got something to say about it. See? Because I did one video when I was walking. I winded up uh, scrapping the video because it was showing too much. And it, it a, a guy drove past me um, and he was playing music on the car. And, it, and you could hear it in the video. And they had the nerve to say something to me about it. I said, well, why is that my fault? Because I walked, some, uh, a person drove past me with their music blaring. I mean, that's not my fault. But they said something to me. They, We're not going to tell you not to post the video. But I, I winded up not um, posting it because, like I said, it was, it was a video where I was walking. And I was show, it was showing, it showed my street sign and all that. And I was like, nah. I can't put that on there. <laughs> so I winded up scrapping the video. But yeah, they said something about it. I said, what? Yeah. Because I think I was going to, I think I was going to upload it. Or I, I was going to upload it. Or I was in the process of uploading it. And they said something, came to me and said something to me about it, and I deleted I, I deleted the video. They said, well, we're not telling you to delete it, but, you know, I wound up deleting it because it showed, it was showing too much. It showed too much. So they don't want you, they don't want, they, they don't want no other artists' music playing on your video, but they won't ban these people that are putting people's court documents and stuff on here. They won't ban that. That they allow. 
I don't know how they're allowing that. That's confidential private information. So that's why I was just I was just telling the mommies that they need to protect themselves, you know. They it's just like a celebrity. They get involved with someone or they have people, certain people in their life has to sign confidentiality agreements. And because people leak information. They leak information to the media and they make money off of it. If you're a famous person and they they got some information on you, you obviously gonna know things about them that the general population don't know. They don't they don't want it out there. You can make money and they know that you can make money for leaking the information to the tabloid. So what they basically have them sign is a as a is a document, a legally binding document saying that they can't do that. If you do do it, you're going to be sued. So they know they're going to be sued if they do that. So a lot of a lot of people Celebrities have to think about doing that. You know, you might even have you have to have all, your own family members um, sign confidentiality agreements if you're famous. Because <laughs> some, some people's family members have sold them out and sold information to the tabloids because they make money off of it. Tabloids pay good money for that information. But it's private. It's confidential. You're not supposed to be putting it out there. It's information that the public shouldn't even know. But because you greedy and you want to make money, you leaked it to the press. Yeah. So that's unfortunately a lot of people on here do that. Leak a lot of other YouTubers' private information on their on videos, put it on videos for everybody to see to get views and subscribers. And YouTube does not put a stop to it. And because, because they're greedy and they want to make money too. So hit me up in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Um, sound off in the comment section. Let me know what you think about that confidentiality. Um, how important is it to you? How important is confidentiality to you? You know, let me know. Um, if you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and the share. And until the next video, peace and love. This is Sweet Jim.